third example is looking at live blood. And this is my own blood that I'm going to be showing you. Um, my home, my work environment has low EMFs. I did that deliberately because I know what the long-term consequences of exposure are. And then I exposed my body to three different agents, and this is what happened to the live blood. Now at the bottom here, you can see the red blood cells are aggregating, they're sticking together, and when they stick together in a coin-like formation, we call that rouleau. So agent X happens to be a um, pulsed electromagnetic field mat that is used to improve circulation. And you can see how the nice the blood cells are actually staying apart. It actually increases the electrical potential charge on the cells so they're repelling each other. Agent Y happens to be a computer that's not um, in, in Wi-Fi mode. So this is just a regular computer plugged in using Ethernet connections and Agent Z as a, as a cordless phone. So when my blood is exposed to this, it goes into rouleau formation, which is not good. The consequences of this are actually quite obvious, I think, to everyone here, but there are some other more serious consequences. Um, the red blood cell aggregation has been associated with things like diabetes, stroke, uh, heart attacks, Alzheimer's disease, and quite a few other things as well. And the symptoms that people get if their blood sticks together um, are these. And so one of the benefits, I think, of live blood is that we might be able to use it as a diagnostic for people who are electrically hypersensitive. It